All right, boys, I got a gameplay for you. We are in Lions on offense, and we are in Vikings on defense, and we're going to be running some 3-3 three, three Cub. Really like 3-3 three, three Cub right now. If you guys want to get my entire Minnesota uh, offensive or Minnesota defensive ebook or my Detroit offensive ebook, you can get both of those by becoming a school member. School site is only 10 bucks. If you guys want to sign up for that, it gets you both Madden and College Football 25 content. So that's going to be linked in the description. I've uh, been really, really, really enjoying school this year. I think it's uh, things been going well over there. So if you guys aren't a school member yet, you can join the community today for just 10 bucks. And again, the link is in the description down below. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be running some uh, Detroit Lions on offense, and I'm going to be running Vikings on defense. I don't feel like offense really matters. Um, pretty much any offense works right now. Any form of bunch trips, few trips, um, really any any kind of three-by-one set, honestly, is uh, is really good this year. So going to be rocking gonna be rocking that. And defensively, I feel like is where it's most challenging. Now, we've updated everything. And over on the site, the cool part about the membership is it gets you access to the ebooks, but it also gets you all the updates. And we do multiple updates a year. Uh, anytime there's a new patch, anytime anything changes, we are updating uh, our content. I was really hoping to hit that fade on the left. So, uh, 3 3 Cub, I do like 3 3 Cub. I think 3 3 Cub is uh, pretty good post patch um, because it's good. I think man coverage is good in this game. And also think the, uh, you know, Sen 5 is generally um, pretty good. As he just, I don't know what, I don't know what that defense was, but got big Dak. So we're going to get back, get out of there and get an easy first. I don't know what that was. That, that, it says it was cover four, but I don't know if that was actually cover four. That was, that was some, that was some stuff. That was some sauce. All right, I'm going to go to motion post. Just go slant flat combo out of this. I don't know what I was throwing there. I don't know how I'm getting screamed at so much. Crossfire. I guess that's why. Good blitz by my man McDrip. All right, this should be open. So he's in 3 4 odd. I do think 3 4 odd's really good. Let's just see if we can just throw the easy routes. Let's take our easy reads. I'm telling you, man, I think this game is a lot about your just like your quick flats, your quick drags. I think I think if you if you take those, the switch he's switch sticking on me a little bit, so that'll be interesting. Playing a switch sticker. He should be sending people. Let's see if I just half slide to the right. Let's see if that just blocks everything. And this is why I love this route combo. Because you have that slant late, and that slant late really breaks down a lot of coverages that they could run. All right, let's go to, let's hit him with a little a little seams. Like this combo right here for this kind of a defense. And this should be a touchdown. Very good, Dak. Good throw, buddy. And we're on the board early. All right, got to get a stop. Obviously, in this game, offense is just super high-powered. Defense is where it's at. But offense, I just feel like you need to be consistent. That's why I like Lions. I do feel like Lions is a very consistent offense. It's a very systematic offense. You're always coming out short side bunch. You're always on it with the trips. If you can master, you know, 10-ish plays, it's hard to stop this playbook. So my big thing on offense is I'm always looking for consistency. My favorite offenses in the game um, right now are... I like Lions. Um, I like Lions. I like Eagles. I like Chiefs. And then from there, it kind of, to me, is a little bit of a toss up in terms of what you might want. So, uh, anywho. All right, let's get on defense. Let's put Parsons. Can I not sub him in? Can I sub him in here? And put Fred out here. Let's put Zach out there. All right, let's just ball. All right, let's see how this works. I think that this defense could be really good. We'll see. I'm going to actually contain it. What I like about 3-3 Cub is I think it's a little bit 
it's a it's it's very similar to six one in terms of how you actually practically are going to want to run the defense. All right, we got Joseph. Uh oh. All right, here we go. So I was going to depend a little bit on what he's wanting to do with his. Kind of the first drive is always a little bit of a fill out drive. Just seeing here. Look at my slot corner just completely messed up. Let's not have that. They don't love this alignment. I don't know what this formation is. You off stack something? What is this? Look at this thing screen though. So the cool part is, like, like I said, I think 3 3 Cub is like a mix. It's a mix between a lot of different defenses. And it's a good all around defense. Let's go digs out here. I'm trying to think if I want to put a say if I'm gonna use our safety or I'll run back with work artists. I'm gonna use this dude. Alright. That's the only other problem with this is you have to do this all the time. You have to flip. I'm trying to remember what route beat me. Let's just put this dude in a five flat. How about that? There we go. Watch that scream. That was against block running back, too. That's what I like about Cub. And that's why I think Cub has has uh, potential. Is it can come in against it can come in against a blocked running back. It's the stock blitz angles out of Mike Blitz. So this is what he's running. This tight. Uh, I don't love. Okay. I'm gonna throw a hook curl over here. Let's go hard flat on the left. I got to really watch this left side. Oh, yes, sir. We'll take that all day. We'll take that. The user is so bad in this game. I just feel like you can't use her anything. I'm kind of off this. I think this dude needs to be outside linebacker. All right, let's see if we can just let's see if we can just throw an easy completion here. Easy completions. Just go through your progressions. Go through your progressions. And I lost. Drag just staring me in the eyes saying, please throw me the ball. I'm telling you though, this cub is good. I really don't like user in this linebacker. I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to put him on the on the line of scrimmage and user of safety. Alright, let's go. Short side bunch, audible out. I feel like 3-4 odd is honestly really good against anything compressed. You want to be in trips. Trips tight end is probably the best for this. Let's just go good old-fashioned slant post return. Let's just hike quick. Hike quick on him. Watching this linebacker. He does not come. Oh, no. Oh, no. I threw that. I actually threw that. That's super frustrating. Yeah. So so bad on my part. That's so bad on my part. Dang it. Oh, that's a frustrating. It's a bad read. Bad decision. All right, let's get it back into Cub. I don't see a way to run this. I don't see a great way to run this not in Cover Zero, though, I will say. I feel like the blitz angles are really important out of this. And then you have to kind of adjust from there. I need to move this guy off the line of scrimmage. Oh, snap. I got to watch the. The thing I do like about Cub 2 is it's really good against the run. All right. Let's see if we can move this dude. Can I look at my depth? I'm going to look at my depth chart. I'm going to take a peek at my depth chart. There's a rating I'm looking for from my middle linebacker. I don't know what his stats are. So he's basically Fred Warner. Just minus one speed. All right, we're going to throw him out there. And then I want to use her at safety and just see if it helps my user at all. I don't know if it will or not. I totally put the wrong guy in. Crap. Let's see if he sends five out here. Almost got it. Dion, I need you to be better, buddy. Okay, see, that's the problem with... That's the problem with that. 
All right, that didn't work out too well. Let's go off coverage, man, and just see how that works. If that's any better. I think the off coverage might be better this year. No, no, that can never, ever, ever, yeah, he cannot break that tackle. I'm okay with the completion there, but he cannot, he cannot break that tackle. Come on. Somehow we're in a position where we need to get, <laughs> gosh, I really want to run this out of a zone base. I just don't think you can do it. Let's back off. This ain't too bad. Let's see if we can get the blitz to come in too. There we go. You just have to, this is that's and that's why I like it because it sheds quick. If they do block somebody, they shed super fast on this defense. All right, this would be the time to run it out of zone if we're going to do it. I'm going to go cover three. This might work. I don't know. Man. I don't know. This is probably not going to work out. Got the pressure. Did he block? He did block there. This should be a three. Should take your three. I feel like Sam Blitz is the better one. I don't know. I don't know what the I don't know what the call if I want to run this in, out of a zone look. I feel like it. I feel like you. You really lose some of your blitz threat when you use zone. I'm surprised he punted that. We'll take it. McDrippler out here in the UOF stack. I will tell you in this game, I've never felt like there's less of a I'm trying to think of the way to word it. Like I just feel like there's a really there's really not much of a skill gap in this game. I don't know if I can word any simpler than that. See if we can hit circle here. Can I catch that please? Uh I tried to free from that. I shouldn't have done that. All right, I think I'm just going to run this play the rest of the game until he stops it. I'm going to block the tight end, too. I don't, think, I don't think he'll stop this if I can actually throw the ball faster. He just wanted to blitz it, didn't he? Good throw, Dak. Give me a good throw, Dak. Give me a good throw, Dak. Calvin, I need you to be better, buddy. Dak did his job. Calvin did not do his job. Let's see. This should be three. I'll tell you, when they start running cover four, the thing I'm learning about Lions, when they start running like quarters, uh, cover four type defenses, especially if it's like this, like a three, four odd type of deal, one of the underrated things you can do is you can run this until the cows come home because they have to play cover two in a three, four. Here he actually does, of course. I had R1 wide open. I'm going to call it again. But um, I think that's one of the underrated things. So you have the flat, and then you also have the streak. And then you also have that you can just hand it off to. Let's see if we can hit R1 here. I don't know why I threw that. Lucky that we completed it. Lucky that we didn't throw a pick six, honestly. I've had some questionable reads this game, not going to lie. Okay. How do I? All right. So then, once they start to run a lot of cover two, the idea here is that then this would be open. This fade. He's running cover six, so it's a little weird. That should fall off. I don't know why that ran with that. That's not cool. I don't know why that ran with that. I, I, I he's doing some stuff that just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know how that was a third. That did not look like a third. All right, we'll just run this. Out of there with Dak. One Dak. All right, Dak, that's exactly what you... Dude, I'm so bad. I... 
Uh, I'm so bad in situations like that. All right, so this would be a good time to run this and just see if it works. Run. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tackles. Thank God he doesn't know the hurdle. Thank God he doesn't know the hurdle, boys. All right, that was kind of like as bad we played offensively. We actually played great on defense. <laughs> defense did its job. Offense, offense scored once. Not exactly what we expect in this game. But we'll take it. We'll take a 7-0 lead. Defense is stalemate here with my man McDrippler. I just don't feel like this zone look can work. The problem is, like, when you run it against formations like this, it's such a random deal. I would rather play it in zone. Also, don't like, if you notice, there's, a, you see how the blitz angles are different? That concerns me with this. So we'll see. Let's block that man. It's all right. All right, I think I'm back a man, honestly. He is blocking people, though. When they start blocking people, what you could do out of this. You can start zoning out those linebackers or just putting them in coverage of some type. He's in such a weird formation that it's honestly kind of odd, like in my opinion, to do that. So I think I'm just going to do this. This is a sin 4. Now this sin 4 can still come in if they blow if they send 5 out too. So yeah, pretty balanced coverage. I'm going to cloud. I'm going to hard flat scout the right though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's going to throw it at it. No. No. Oh no. And he got free yardage. Oh, this is such a weird offense, bro. I feel like this is just great defense. It's just I just I did not need to do that. I did not need to switch stick over there. Kind of the way he's playing, though. I feel like it makes this defense make a lot of sense. Let's see. Now he's going to audible. I kind of still like this. That's why you run 3-3 Cub, too. I mean, the run D is solid. They're not going to be able to just run the ball. I can tell you that. That's why I like it. I think Cub is good, man. I, it's a balanced defense. It really is. I just do not know what to do on, all right. like when I play something like this. All right, I'm not going to switch to golf, I don't think. I think I'm just going to have to use it. I need to use it that crosser. Let's just shade outside while we're at it. Take that. That was shaded out. That was shaded out. That was shaded out. That was shaded out, bro. Gosh, that's so frustrating. All right, do you stay in cub down here? I might need to get in the zone. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Oh. I don't know what uh, do I run. I'll go cover three buzz and just see what this looks like. Do I have auto flip off? There's no way that nickel corner is over there. What? He does that again. Okay, that's not cool. Okay, so situationally, he's down here in the red zone. I'm probably going to get... I think I'm going to go 3-4 odd the way he's playing. I think I'm going to go 3-4 odd in this situation and just see. Just trying to eliminate his ability to, to run the ball. And we did... <laughs> We did, but we carried him for 10 yards. Okay. All right, here we go. This, that cannot, that cannot be a touchdown, please. All right, fourth and goal. We're going to make him earn it here. If he does go to pass, we're going to go goal line probably. Uh, it just depends on what he comes out, comes out in. I like 3-4 odd for how I am anticipating him playing this. And 
We're frozen. Perfect. We're back. Okay. Need this to be. Let's put. All right. I kind of like three four odd for this. I feel like we got him here. We have hard flats. I mean, the ball's gonna have to come out super fast. You would think this is this is D. Pass commit. No way is that open. Oh my gosh, he dropped it. I feel like he had a ton of more time than I thought he was gonna get. Okay, uh, I can't run the ball, so I'm not gonna try to run the ball in this situation. I'm gonna try to dot. He's gonna be the three-four out. Honestly, I just feel like this should be the play. This is the play. Look, this is what you call right here. Just need something to get open. That's got to be open. Please. Thank you. Finally able to catch that. I don't know why he went with that. That was kind of a weird decision on his part, though, to not send everybody at me. Let me go back to that RPO, though. We've been saving that one, boys. We had it. There's that RPO. It makes you have to commit. It makes you have to commit to the pass. And if they're not going to commit to the pass, that RPO streak is going to be there for you. Those zones just stand there. They just look. They stare. They don't move. It's one of the best ways to cook zone in this game is to have that, this play in the audibles. This is why I think Lions is, is so relevant, right? Because this motion RPO is so good. You have... Uh, all the stuff you want out of trips and you have some other like bunch flex uh, tight open the motion play right so I think this this motion RPO is such a key play to have in your arsenal alright we're gonna get back into this I think I stay in man I just I think you stay in man here I really like Mike Blitz I just Need it to play a little better. Let's put Cloud out here. Let's man up the back. We've got a lot of coverage here to the right or to the left. A little shade. All right, let me look. That's good. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I like this blitz, honestly. You're seeing how the pressure comes in. It's a lot better than it was. All right, what I really want to do is I, he's just not giving me the ability. I'm going to zone out here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I just got so lucky. <laughs> I just got so lucky. <laughs> That's why you get a defense that sheds, boys. Because when the blitz doesn't come in, it still sheds. He has a touchdown on the right. Look at that instant shed of the linebacker. That's an underrated feature of this defense, boys. 3-3 three, three Cub. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to check out this full defense within our school community, link is in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.